everyone. Welcome to True Path Astrology. Thank you for joining me today. This is uh, Rajni. This is the monthly prediction for Aries Ascendance or uh, Aries Lagna for the month of July 2021. And this prediction is based on Vedic astrology and based on transits of the planets. Now to begin, let us uh, first look at the placement of the planets in the sky and then um, we will see what these planetary positions have in store for you this month in the uh, areas of your career, health, marital uh, relationship, finance, and um, love and romance. There are quite a few planetary movements um, this month. Now, Mars is the ruler of your ascendant. Mercury and Rahu are in the second house of finance, family, and speech. Now on July 7th, Mercury will move out of the second house and will go into its own house in the third house. Again, on July 25th, Mercury will be moving into the fourth house in the sign of Cancer. And now Mercury moves twice this month, which is going to bring you some mixed results, which I will uh, discuss later. Now Sun is in the third house of courage and efforts. And on July 16th, Sun will move into the um, fourth house in the sign of Cancer. Now, Sun rules the sixth house, uh, sorry, fifth house as well. Now, then we have Mars and Venus placed in the fourth house in the sign of Cancer. Now, Mars is debilitated here. On July 20th, Mars will move into the fifth house, moving away from its debilitation, which is a good news. Now, Mars is your ascendant lord as well as the lord of the eighth house. Now, Mars is going to bring you some mixed results this month. Now, on July 17th, Venus will move out of the fourth house and move into the fifth house. And Venus rules the second house of finance, family, and speech, and also rules the seventh house of marriage and partnership for you. Now, when uh, Venus moves into the fifth, it will give you some good results, which um, I will discuss later. Now, Ketu is in the eighth house. Saturn is placed in the 10th house of career in its own house. Now, Saturn also rules the 11th house of gain, wishes, and fulfillment. Now, Jupiter is placed in the 11th house of gain, ruling the uh, 9th house of luck and fortune and 12th house of expenses and loss for you. Now, before we move on, this is to request those who are visiting my channel for the first time to please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. And... Uh, also, don't forget to hit the bell notification so you will get the notification right away when I post any new videos right away. Now, also, if you would like to get a personal consultation from me, please visit my website or uh, you can even email me. So moving on, we will quickly talk about things in general about you, uh, your personality, your family in general, and uh, the home environment this month for you. Now, Mars being the Ascendant Lord is debilitated in the fourth house, as I said earlier. This is until July 20th. Now, until July 20th, your personality could come across as being a bit aggressive, hard-tempered uh, uh, sometimes, ready to initiate a fight or even some... Uh, minor and silly things, uh, misconstruing what others say to you. And some of you could face some laws of reputation and respect from others. Your uh, relationship with your mother could get badly affected. And also you may find yourself being away from home a lot uh, at this time. Now, until July 20th, you need to be extra careful because uh, your actions in the first 20 days of the month could bring you a lot of harm that you may regret later. Now, you may need to control your temper, use your intelligence fully in every action you take and any interaction you do to avoid any regret which may come to haunt you at a later time. But after July 20th, the scenario changes completely. The Ascendant Lord Mars goes into the fifth house and situation starts to improve for you. So fifth is the trine house. So you will see good improvements in all areas of your life. But if you have not been careful earlier and suppose you had um, 
damage the opportunities prior to July 20th, you may end up wasting a lot of your time to amend or rectify the situation uh, to bring it back to normalcy. This is after July 20th. So to talk about family, now Venus is in your fourth house and then it will move into the fifth house, which is a trine house again. Now, if you struggled with relationships before, this is a time it will get repaired. And if you faced any problem within any uh, inheritance issues, uh, that those things could get resolved at this time. Now, Venus will help in resolving those issues, but you may need to use and apply your own intelligence uh, as well. Now, Mercury is in the second house, 12th from itself. Now, this shows you may have some difference of opinion with your younger siblings, or uh, we can say conflicts related to finance, or even some um, uh, conflict related to uh, inheritance matters with your younger siblings. Now, if you have some ego clashes going, that could get um, accelerated uh, at this time as well. Now, let us talk about uh, marital relationship. Now, your spouse or partner will be very supportive to you at this time. Uh, they will lend you, um, lend a helping hand in uh, projects you're working on to move that project forward successfully. And there will be good coordination between the two of you at this time. Good bonding, I can say. Now, those in love relationship, you will find this month a very fruitful one. And you will enjoy each other's company with um, some uh, fun-filled activities. Now, moving on to finance. Now, whenever we talk about uh, finance, we need to assess the second house of the chart, which is the finance uh, house, and the 11th house of gain, both together. Now, 11th lot of gain, which is Saturn, is sitting in the 10th house of career in its own house, which clearly indicates that you stand to gain through your career this month. The Planetary situations also indicate that you could gain through investment in stock market or any types of investments or even uh, win a lottery, some of you. Now, gain through any instant uh, investments is indicated for you this month. So overall, your financial situation this month is good. Now, in fact, uh, for some of you, you may be able to get, um, get out of debts or or loans that you've had for some time and you'll be able to save up some money in the bank as well. Now, moving on to career and business. Career matters will go well for you, especially those in the legal field or judiciary field. Uh, you will find this month extremely good and some of you will find uh, Moving on to a higher position at work, Saturn is the lord of the 11th house of gain and Jupiter is sitting in the 11th house and Saturn placed in the 10th house of career. So Jupiter and Saturn being in a good position, this will ensure you have good gain in career matters this month. Now, others uh, will be impressed with you at work. You may be talked about in a, in a nice way at your workplace. Now, those who have their own business will also see good success in your business this month. And you could see your business reaching um, a great height uh, this month. And this month could uh, prove one of the best performing months for you uh, in your accounting books uh, for those who are in their own business. Now, talking about love and romance, and if you are running uh, the Mahadasha of Venus, Especially for you, you have a good chance of uh, entering into a wedlock with your love partner this month. And this is after July 17, when um, Venus uh, will move into the fifth house. Jupiter will be aspecting Venus in the fifth house, bringing you a beautiful opportunity for finalizing your marriage. Now, if you're already married, you will enjoy a great bonding with your marriage partner. And if you're in a situation where you're planning to, um, say, propose to someone, uh, I would say wait until uh, July 17th to do so, and uh, you should be successful. Now, health. 
Mercury is with Rahu in the second house until July 7th. And now Mercury rules the sixth house of illness. So the first week of July, you need to be very careful with problems related to nerves. Well, it could be something related to like say blood pressure or hypertension issues. And after July 17 though, your health will spring back to normal because Mercury will be moving into its own house in Gemini and you should be enjoying good health throughout the rest of the month. So Aries Ascendance, this was the overview for the month of July 2021 for you. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any comments or uh, if you would like me to do any videos on any subject on astrology, um, I would definitely please write to me and I would be happy to do that. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.